In the Karamajong culture, a woman is expected to provide and care for all the basic needs of her family. She has to do the farming, construction of manyatas, taking care of the children, and meet all the personal needs of her husband. On the other hand, the husbands had the cattle and in their free time attend social gatherings. <coughs> Thomas Odelok, the executive director for Karamoja Women Umbrella Organization, says when a wife fails to provide for the family, her husband will look for another woman to take care of him. Uh, it's because women were born in the, case, in the same household and they witnessed their mothers doing the same and their mothers also witnessed their mothers, great grand. So it's like women have accepted to live in such an environment. 27-year-old Kelementina Aleper from Atatoy village in Loptuk Parish, Loptuk sub-county in Moroto district, was abandoned by her husband three years ago. The mother of two says her husband now lives in Kenya with another woman. He left when our last born was one and a half years. We were two wives, but he did not treat us equally. He gave the other woman more things. Aleper now provides for her family by selling green vegetables on the streets of Morota town and crushing stones at a nearby rock. John Loiki, the LC1 chairperson of Lokoli village in Matani sub-county in Matani town council, approves the practice of men abandoning their women. A woman is disturbing a man. Some money for this, some money for this. Whereby there is no work a man is, work is doing. Now a man can decide just to move away due to lack of food to give their children. In the same locality, Arioki Emorus is a victim of domestic violence. Emorus, who was married at 17 years, says her husband beat her every day because she delayed at the stone quarry where she was working to earn a living to look after him. He used not to provide for the family. He would never bring anything home for his four children. To survive, I sell alcohol to the villagers. He eventually abandoned her and her five children and now lives with a new wife. 75-year-old Agustino Abura, the clan leader of Iworopom clan in Matani Town Council in Napak District, insists that there is no way a woman can own property since she's married into the clan. They always look at a, a woman as an asset. And besides being an asset, a woman does not have any right of owning land eh? or of, of owning anything. Maggie Lolem, the Moroto District Community Development Officer, confirms that men are abandoning their responsibilities. And the reasons for abandoning relationship, one, it is costly. Men can no longer afford to marry many women. The other is a cultural belief of um, if a woman is barren and cannot have a certain number of children as dictated by the family of the man um, due to the bride price paid, probably, that relationship can be abandoned and the man is allowed to go and marry elsewhere where he can have the number of children. As a result of this custom, illiteracy levels in the sub-region have remained high as girls shoulder domestic responsibilities in their home and when they are married off at an early age. Anna Grace Lokana, a senior woman teacher at Longalong Primary School in Napak District, says most girls are forced to do petty jobs to provide for their families. This has affected school enrollment levels. We realize that girls are forced to marry and drop out of school and go even to other areas to look for to look for life so that they come and work and feed their family just because their parents here don't value education. However, Joseph Lokapel, the district inspector of schools for Napak, says poverty is driving men to abandon their families or marry off their daughters early. The cattle rustling issue, which many times if uh, a parent has been having some animals and is taken off, taken off by other people from the neighboring districts, the parent becomes vulnerable. Because of such poverty, 
girl children are forced to get married so that they can be able to recycle animals back into their family. Despite interventions such as men's groups where they are educated on taking up their responsibilities and putting value on their wives, the situation is not changing. Of course this one looks at um, men supporting women's work, men getting involved in the, the household activities, men supporting women's rights. I think this is where we have to invest a lot of money. With a static culture and high illiteracy rates, who will liberate the women of Karamoja?